Want to thank you for joining us. I'm Kristen Hartman. FC Cincinnati leaders faced city council to address several concerns over the new stadium. And as not on your sides, Jake Ryle found out noise isn't the only thing troubling folks in the West End. Well, these are hurdles FC Cincinnati is finding well before the big construction begins. One of them, Cincinnati's Music Hall, the other, the road right next to it, Central Parkway. For FC Cincinnati, all is quiet right now. In time for the, the 2021 MLS season. But before the noise of that first season in their new West End Stadium can take shape, another noise is knocking on the door, Music Hall. There will be sound intrusion in rehearsals and performances uh, based on the methodology and the science behind the study. That report says the noise from the new stadium would have an impact on concerts. Well, acoustics is a complex science, and, but it is a science. That's why Jeff Burning says it's important to fight science with science. We've gotten our uh, uh, own engineer involved and uh, we'll sit down and, and have a better understanding of their findings and, and go from there. So what's the next step? Well, a final report not released yet will hold the answers. The most important piece that it will include is the beginning of some specificity about what steps could be taken to mitigate the sound intrusion. Another hurdle? I want to make sure that fans coming to our games are safe. Whether or not to close Central Parkway, a road thousands might cross on match days. It is not uh, uh, some FC Cincinnati party zone, as I heard one council member refer to it. It's a public safety issue. Uh, and I would offer it's an issue, uh, public safety around large events like this. Uh, or, or, or should be taken seriously. The motion filed by Councilman Chris Seelbach and signed by four other council members will reject any plan that involves closing Central Parkway. It's not FC Cincinnati's call. It's the city administration's call. Uh, they're the experts on public safety. And with the concerns about the noise level, a final report should be coming out soon that might have the answer for both sides of this equation. As soon as we know more, we'll be sure to keep you updated. For now, reporting in over the Rhine, Jake Ryle, 9 on your side.